On this Friday's edition of Travel and Young, we're in Udense to see the new museum for H.C. Anderson. We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. Hello, welcome to this Hi. Friday's Travel and Young, and we are in Udense. Yes. And we're about to walk through the maze of <laughs> how to get to the H.C. Anderson Museum that we recently got a opened. This lost. is a bit tricky when you park to try to figure out where we are. So yeah. we're going to spend the day checking out the new museum. Let's go ahead and start walking now. Yeah. Actually, we'll follow <laughs> Miranda on this journey. It is super cool though in that you get to see all these like old Yeah, these old buildings. buildings and they just opened up this new museum so we're really excited to see it. We went to kind of the old one and so we're excited to see Well, you weren't with us when we went to the old one. We went into his house, didn't we? No, we saw his house oh. from the outside. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. But Maya and I, and I love this little street. This is actually his house right here. So. We won't go inside this today because Maya and I were inside this. I'll show when we went and I got a picture of Maya standing right here. <laughs> but I love this little street with these old buildings. Ugh. Yeah, it's super cool. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's go find see out. See how we can check this About place out. So we're here at a time when the museum has really just opened. They're doing a soft opening. So certain parts of the museum are finished and others they're still working on. So it's not quite a complete experience at the moment, but what is here in place now is really incredible. And it's such a delight for the eyes, really. We can keep looking. <laughs> So in this room, there's a lot of Jose Anderson's paper cuts that he did uh, over the years. And I just love paper cuts. I think it's such a cool Danish tradition. And this is one of the really intricate ones. And I've seen other ones like a whole ballet theater, um, butterflies, just different things. And it's so cool. Museum, there's these 12 rooms that all represent Jose Anderson's 12 most famous uh, fairy tales. We're right now we're in the room for the Little Mermaid, and it's it's quite interesting. It's very you can interact with it. You, there's the little videos that are going on, so it's just really an interesting way to experience the fairy tales.
okay, we just, 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 we just <laughs> left the museum and we're standing outside the front of it. Yeah. And it is yeah. a super nice place. Yeah. Um, I really liked it. I mean, it's it's still a work in progress. Not everything is open yet. But what's pretty cool is if you come right now, I don't know how long until, but right now if you come in, you get a half price. Yeah. And uh, and then I got a certificate saying I can come back in June, up till June of next year and get in half price again. Yeah. When it's fully completed. So. And then you can get the audio guide because at this point they don't have the audio guides working. So we just looked through the brochure, which was still pretty informational, yeah. um, I thought. And it's still worthwhile. The exhibits that are open are really incredible. There's a lot of animation. They're very immersive. Um, it's really kind of modern, um, I think, and it's just a really cool museum. And I had no idea that it connected to his birthplace yeah. house. So we were outside that earlier, and I said we weren't going to go inside because yeah. it used to be a separate way to go in. I didn't know that now it's all connected. So it's neat that they're kind of connecting this yeah. with his birthplace and other things, how it's all kind of... Yeah, and when I was here last time, I had no idea this was getting built directly yeah. behind the house that Maya and I went in. Yeah, and this is actually part of a bigger kind of revitalization of the older part of town because back in the day, they built a really big uh, road right next to Jose Anderson's house and it kind of cut Jose Anderson's house off from the rest of Odense. So now they're building this big museum, they've incorporated his old house and now they're kind of changing the downtown so that his home is once again part of the city. Yeah, and by the way, people, as you can see, were randomly walking behind us. Yeah. Hopefully there wasn't a ton of noise. Um, I'm not using this microphone right now, yeah. actually. It's the one on the camera that might have picked them up talking. But anyway, we, we really enjoyed I can't wait till it's totally done. We'll definitely come back. It's not yeah. that far for us to, uh, to come back and, and see for it. real. And you wanted to mention some of the things we yeah. saw, some of the, the fairy tales that maybe Americans don't realize are from H.C. Anderson. Yeah, I think um, a lot of people know that Hosea Anderson wrote like The Little Mermaid, but I think for a lot of Americans, we don't realize how many of this, the fairy tales that we read as children are actually Hosea Anderson. He wrote The Princess and the Pea, The Nightingale, The Steadfast Tin Soldier, um, The Snow Queen, which is what Frozen is actually kind of inspired off of. Um, just so many of these stories. And once we moved here and I started learning more about Hosea Anderson, I couldn't believe how many of the fairy tales, the ugly duckling, which is so famous, um, is actually written by Jose Anderson. And so he was a prolific writer. He wrote 146 fairy tales in his lifetime. And so I think a lot of Americans take for granted just how important he is. So and, I think. Yeah, and on the way out, they had those uh, quotes from famous yeah, authors that were talking yeah. about how he'd inspired them. So yeah. Um, Anyway, I can't wait till this is done, but I wasn't, wouldn't hesitate to come now if you're around Udense yeah. because you can get in for half price, then you can yeah. come back again. It's still worth going to. It's not as crowded currently because yeah. not everything's not open, done. but <laughs> when the garden's done and everything's done, it's, it's just going to be, be beautiful. amazing. Yeah. So let's stop this right now, though, um, <laughs> so we can get some food. Yes. <laughs> and uh, let's see if we can find some good like traditional Danish yes. food here in Odense. So we just came here basically to go see the H.C. Anderson house and the updated museum, um, and we've been here before so that's all we're really gonna do today besides eating this meal and drinking beer which as you can see it took a while to get our food and I drank a lot of beer already but I got Parisa Booth which is one of my absolute favorite Danish meals when I'm going to a Danish restaurant I like red meat I like egg I like actually beets and capers and the horseradish stuff and all that super good so I'm having Parisa Booth as my Danish meal today here in Udense. And let's go see what Miranda's having for hers. Just quick swap here. Switch around. I am having uh, tarallera, which I love because I love chicken pot pie. And tarallera are a lot like chicken pot pie. So I always get them when I see them on the menu. Although I do sometimes get Parisa Booth too. But, um, but yeah, it looks delicious. I can't wait to dig in. So... Um, but once again, thank you for joining us. We loved taking you around the new Jose Anderson Museum. As always, um, we love having you join us for our little trips around Denmark. So we will see you next time. Bye. Miranda, come look at what we found. Oh it's pumpkin <laughs> spice season. It's here. <laughs> it's here. Unlike most Americans, I'm actually not a pumpkin spice fan. So I'm kind of sad to see it's infiltrated even Denmark. We can't escape it. No, but no. what we can do is go find real food. We'll so find let's real go do food that. somewhere. <laughs>